Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are checking out this channel for the very first time and you're interested in becoming a model, um, you definitely want to consider subscribing because I make some of the best contents that you guys are going to see on YouTube about the modeling industry. So in this video, I want to address a very popular question that you guys constantly DM me about um, on my Instagram is how can you become a model if you don't quite meet the height requirements, right? So I want to talk about that a little bit um, and break it down. Some of the steps that you guys can take if you're a little bit on the shorter side and you still want to become a model. I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you can still break into the industry. Alright guys, so before I get into this video, you definitely want to watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to announce uh, another YouTube giveaway and give you guys the details at the end of the video. Alright, so let's talk about modeling if you don't quite meet the height requirements. And just a level set, so for female models, the height requirement for female models is at least 5'9 um, to about 5'11, 6 foot, whatever, right? Um, some agencies are more lenient and they will still represent a model uh, who's 5'8. Um, sometimes in some cases 5'7 or whatever um, and they, they can still do runway. For male models, uh, the height requirement is 5'11 to 6'3. Um, but again, um, there's some leniency with some agencies where they represent models who are even taller than 6'3 um, or sometimes slightly shorter than 5'11. So if you don't meet the height requirements, um, there's still ways that you can break into the modeling industry. And here's how. So when people think about models or they think about becoming a model, everyone dreams about being on the runway. Everyone thinks about runway models, right? However, runway modeling is not the only type of modeling that exists, right? So there are different categories. There are different types of model modeling that you can do. However, runway modeling has a very strict height requirement because a lot of times these designers are, are sewing their samples on uh, fit models, right? And fit models are tall, they have specific uh, measurements. So to be a runway model, you have to kind of like meet that requirement because that's how the clothes were sewn, right? So, and not only that, um, a lot of designers just like to see tall models uh, walking down the runway with their long legs, long limbs, just like, you know, showcasing their clothes. And honestly, it kind of looks better. Um, I feel like tall people uh, look better on the runway when they're uh, rocking out the garments, right? So if you don't quite meet the height requirements, um, honestly, you almost need to forget about doing runway modeling. And again, a lot of people don't know runway modeling doesn't actually pay that much. You can make much more money doing commercial prints, editorial, etc. So what this means is that you have to be pretty selective with the modeling agencies that you're applying to. A lot of modeling agencies specifically look for runway uh, models or models who meet these height requirements. Um, especially in cities like New York and Paris and Milan, big fashion capitals. Um, a lot of the work that models get in big fashion capitals are runway jobs, right? And if you don't meet the height requirements, what's the point of representing you if you're not going to get that much work? So um, if you're a shorter model or average height or whatever, right? Um, you should look for representation outside of fashion capitals. So for instance, apply to agencies in cities that are big on commercial print, editorial, uh, fitness, etc. right? And also know what type of modeling you wanna get into because that would help and um, take you a long way. So in the US, uh, Los Angeles, Chicago, Atlanta, um, Miami if you have a swimsuit body. So sometimes I see um, models who are on the shorter side and they're shooting uh, digitals to submit to agencies. However, that's all great then that's fine because a lot of these agencies are asking for your digitals, but you're almost better off just shooting commercial prints and lifestyle shots and sending those to the agencies um, instead. Because one, you wanna show the agencies that yes, you are a commercial print model. Um, even though you don't quite meet the height requirements, you can still do lifestyle, you can still do commercial print, you can still do fitness, etc. So you wanna have um, almost like a, a plethora of images that you can submit to um, to these agencies. So to recap, if you're on the shorter side, uh, forget about runway, apply to agencies in cities that are heavy on commercial print modeling. Um, you're better off shooting commercial print and lifestyle 
test shoots and submitting those to agencies instead of shooting digitals and submitting those because when you submit your digitals uh, the first thing they're going to notice is uh, the length of your body um, do you seem tall do you have long legs you know all that is going to be really apparent in your digitals um, and you don't want to make it seem like you're trying to become a runway model when you're only like 5'3 or something like that right Another thing that you want to do, and I say this all the time, is to beef up your social media, grow your social media following, grow your Instagram following, because agencies are now looking at this. Clients are looking at this as well. They want to work with models who have a social following. Um, that really helps. So for instance, Wilhelmina Los Angeles, they represent a lot of models on their board who are um, even below average height for, uh, for an average person, right? There, I've seen models on their board as short as like 5'4", 5 5'2", 5 um, but these models, they have a great look. Um, they're commercial print models, they have strong social following. All of this helps in terms of getting represented and getting your career started in the modeling industry. So these are my tips for how you can still model if you don't quite meet the height requirements. If you guys have a strong look and you follow these tips, I almost guarantee you you're gonna get represented and you're gonna get plenty of work. If you still have questions, drop your comments down below. I do read um, most, if not all the comments on each of my videos. I also offer a modeling consultation on my website um, and I have an ebook on how to get started in the modeling industry as well. So you guys should check that out. And now it's time for the YouTube giveaway. So last month I did a giveaway. I gave two lucky winners a free modeling consultation and I gave one lucky winner a photo shoot and a modeling consultation as well. So I wanna do that again. Um, let's make that happen. So all you guys have to do is use the hashtag Francis Polo on Instagram post your best modeling picture. Um, you have to be 18 and older. You have to be following me on social and uh, be a subscriber to this channel. Um, and one lucky winner is going to get a photo shoot. Uh, two other winners are gonna get free modeling consultation as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in my next one.